everybody, welcome to this energy reading. You may notice my setup is different. If you've been with me since Japan, <laughs> the Japan days, then this looks pretty similar to what I got started with. So the side view, right? So I did just move again. If you were Japan, if you if you've been watching me since Japan, then you have been with me along this journey. I think I might have moved nine times. <laughs> Oh, nine or ten or eleven times since um, um, since uh, February of 2020 when I left Japan, and I used to be really annoyed about it. Actually, I still am a bit, but I realized that I do I must be doing some type of ley line work or something because I move so often, and and usually people who move a lot do some type of grid working or something with the energy. So listen, we're about accepting these things and it is what it is, but this move is an upgrade. God bless, thank you so much. And um, it's my pleasure to start the new year with, um, yeah, with joy. So please allow me to share that joy with you, okay? So, all right, happy new year, yay! Let's jump right in to this, oh Lord. Look at, look, okay, I can I even finish? <laughs> Can I even finish before the Dark Knight of the Soul card slips up? Did you see it was like, zzz, you know, I'm like, oh my God. <laughs> okay, so we'll just keep you on there. I, don't, I haven't even decided whether to do the monthly or the weekly right now. What should I do? Let's do both. Okay, so let's do both in the sense of I'm going to call this the monthly, uh, January monthly reading. Another difference between the readings that I used to do when I was in Japan and this one, oh my God. <laughs> the second heavy card in the deck, the Dark Angel card. Okay. Okay. You're going to, yeah. Okay. Look at these. We're just going to go ahead. Oh, thank you. Good. Um, the other difference uh, that you guys may have noticed is that usually in the past I used to already have my cards laid out um, I just you know I just used to just put them out and then press play and and now I shuffle on screen because I like to let the cards do their own thing so we can see but anyway splitting the deck for hope and there is the love card one more time what's this holding your center this is fair to saying hold your excitement I see some of you getting excited already with that card. So let's go ahead and gently rest these two cards sweetly here. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for joining me again, guys. This reading is going to be our reading for the month of January, Dece uh, January 2022. Let's jump right in, okay? Thank you. Um, so I can already sense the energies here. If you notice, I said thank you when I laid, laid these two cards. The reason why I did that is because these two cards show a breaking through, a breaking out of uh, something old, something cracked. And I'm feeling something temporary. So some of you may have been in a very short term kind of situation, about two to three weeks. It doesn't have to have, it doesn't need to have been a physical manifestation of that situation. Like for example, literally doing something or being in a contract for two to three weeks. It could be referring to, um, God bless, like a state of being, being in a sort of stasis. Some of you may register it as being in a daze. Uh, some of you may register it as being in a place where you're like, mm, what's going on? What's going on in this connection? What's going on with my life? What's going on with my trajectory? Am I going to have this job in three weeks? Right? Whatever this state of uh, being was or this stasis was, I'm happy to see that it was in service to some type of uh, alchemical change that was going on. In other words, you were going through a healing. And so um, it may have felt very, um, the word I'm getting is clandestine for some of, for some of you, but what I want to say is you may have felt like you were out there. But please know that not only is this coming to an end, but it served its purpose. Ooh, ouch. As I felt that, I do feel that for some of you, you were actually in a connection for a very short time that quote unquote served its purpose. I do see this card coming in. It's the three of wands and the after tarot. You, as you guys may know, the after tarot is a lovely deck. It's one of my favorites. And it talks about, or it looks at that, 
set of seconds that happens after the original um, images in the tarot. So this is the Three of Wands, which usually talks about waiting for something to occur, uh, waiting for your ships to come in, whatnot. But here, it tends to take on an energy of release, at least as it's lending itself to the energies in this card. I do want to also show that right underneath there is the Six of Coins. So we're looking at something that has been balanced and released. Now, <laughs> the, the Lord is so funny. I say the Lord, but I mean the universe. I mean just the way the energies are flowing. Um, the right underneath here is the Hierophant card, Commitment, followed right underneath there with the Three of Swords, the Heartbreak card. So what I'm seeing, it, all these four cards corroborate the energies that are showing up here. For some of you, this um, thing that you were in uh, for two to three weeks may have been some type of connection or something that may have ended in a way yeah they're 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 saying don't even mince the words it may have ended in a split is what they're showing uh, things have been balanced for some of you this is a marriage situation that has come to a close but either way spirit is saying it has served its purpose what is the purpose janelle well let's take a look we have two of the heaviest cards in the deck the dark knight of the soul which is no joke Whenever it comes out, I understand it's Nine of Swords energy. Nine of Swords energy in the Tarot speaks of, um, as I always like to say, crying in the car, crying in the shower, crying in the bank line. You don't know. It's just crying, depressive thoughts, feeling very low, depression. Um, and it also carries an energy of the Five of Cups, which is grief. But I'm also getting off of this card Seven of wands which is defensive energy so just so you know uh, a lot of victim consciousness as well when we talk about victim consciousness uh understand that yes victim consciousness is i think personally a stage that people must go through in their soul's evolution basically it is centered around the mindset that the world is out to get me i'm a victim i'm disempowered and it's a very understandable place to be in because we do become victims you know it's just a way of life however um we need to transcend that and a lot of times people can be stuck in victim consciousness for generations bloodlines can be stuck in victim consciousness someone can live their whole life through that so anytime you're able to pull yourself out of that mentality it's cause for a celebration right um but anyway yes they're even piping in that cultures whole cultures can be set around victim consciousness but just as i'm there we're saying that they're like tapering it off because they're like we don't want to go too deeply into that energy in fact we want to replace this energy this that we were just talking about with all that victim consciousness with this energy which is an awakening an awareness an acknowledgement of pulling oneself out of grief circumstances how do you pull yourself out of low self-worth? How do you pull yourself out of victim consciousness? How do you pull yourself out of whatever you can name? Any pathology, it's awareness. It starts with awareness. And we know that. We see that parodied all the time. Well, you know, the first step to getting help is knowing that you have a problem. And it is true. It is true. You know? Um, anyway, so Spirit is showing that. Then we also have the Dark Angel card, which is the second card. And I usually like to see when the Dark Angel card comes out instead of the Dark Knight of the Soul. Yes, you may see it. I'm like, can we see it? <laughs> um, because look at how it is dark also, but it's ha it is halfway dark. There's light, ha half light and half dark here, right? And this is a beautiful thing because it's like the found sinner. Now, I don't really like to throw that word sin around unless it is um, properly and appropriately defined. It doesn't even need to be properly and appropriately defined because all, even those terms are relative because no one knows, right? But if you're going to throw terms around like that, you must define it so that people can know what aspect of that word you're calling upon. So, um, that's why I don't want to really throw that around. But, you know, when using the analogy of the found sinner, I'm using that in terms of religion, maybe Christian, you know, ideas of sin, where blah, 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 you can fill in the rest. <laughs> but, you know, it's like somebody, wow, I used to be a sinner, but now I'm found, amazing grace, this and that. You know, the image that conjures up is of somebody in darkness and then feeling the, the light of the Christ consciousness, it said in a religious way, 
you find you 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 may not have i guess transcended whatever it is inside of you the pathology or the unhealed whatever that keeps you in, functioning in a certain way and perpetrating whatever it is that you're doing but you know that you're found you know that you're seen and you know that you're on the elevator up so to speak because you have become aware and you've been seen it's like the all-seeing eye in a wonderful way finding its way to you like oh my god and i'm not talking about the all-seeing eye in in terms of the eye of Sauron or something like that i'm talking about wow I'm I'm seen. I'm not lost. Yeah, I once was lost, but now I'm found. This is this energy, okay? So anyway, you. it's interesting the way that, because remember, I am channeling, guys. It's interesting the way that they were letting me use, um, I don't, yeah, the two words that want to come to mind is lexicon and jargon. Like all those words that I was just throwing out there, sinner and lost and found and all of this stuff it's interesting that those words were coming out because it's almost like we needed to look at that to, to create this framework within which we could meet your conscious mind because remember a lot of people um we understand that we need to speak the same language you know english english or whatever in order to truly understand in a deep way what's going on but remember that we also speak a language of framework and the framework for many many people is whatever they've been conditioned to believe whether it's religion whether it's through um uh social media these days they're getting a lot of people getting a lot of people <laughs> oh my god they're getting a lot of people with the songs, the music, the, the dances, the lingo, the everything. It's a, that's a framework that's being put, put upon people. Um, other frameworks could be shared experiences through um, uh, mass media. I mean, you know, you we all know you take the good, you take the bad, you take them both and there you have. Everyone knows that song. If you know that song, you, you are now tapping in to... A frequency that is shared it's a shared culture so long story short by us using those terms to describe this situation they're trying to show you that you um, you we were looking at it within a certain framework but those words are meaningless right we just use them to access a certain frequency but what I love about this is that they're saying bump that I added that <laughs> bump that real hard because look at what comes in La. and they're showing that even though the light is on you here in the dark angel look at where the light was also even in the darkest of places yeah Boink. so in the month of this i keep saying december you notice that if you were listening earlier i almost said december i, I was like they something about january december yeah december energies are well duh they're still around but december was a very hard time for a lot of people it really really was and in the month of january we want to feel more of that sunlight energy in we want to feel more of that etheric light coming in and we see that here what it in spirit is saying that what it is that you desire oh my god stop i was going to show you this card and look at the card right underneath see that's what they're saying what it is that you desire you have a right to ask for look at this you ask for the light ah, and so it shall be and when that light starts to hit you, and this is a very important part to listen, when that light, listen to, when that light starts to hit you, what happens is that it literally pushes out of the way the lower densities, the lower frequencies, the lower energies, the lower entities, all of that stuff that is coming through as a lower frequency within your energetic field, within your space, within your environment, within your consciousness, within your being, within your body, all of that stuff gets jostled and pushed around and pushed out. It's like um, the bowl with liquid that you spin very quickly. Guess what's gonna happen, right? Anything that is not spinning at the same 
uh, speed is going to fly out. It's going to be jettisoned. And that is a principle that happens to us in our daily lives when we have um, some, you know, some energetic download. A lot of times you don't realize you're getting it. But what happens is you experience the stress and the frustration and the earthquake, so to speak, within your own life. Jobs are lost. Relationships are lost. Um, people move. People do drastic changes, they cut their hair, they, this is all, these are all manifestations of a disruption of energy. So that's what we're seeing here in January. January is saying, hey, get ready, because here I come, interesting. I actually shot the week one January reading and I was told it's gonna like reshoot it again, because I, I was like, that was, that was not, no. But um, here's the same message, so maybe <laughs> I'm just gonna keep that. So get ready because you're coming out of the dark night of the soul. And we've got this amazing light source that is just beaming into your life right now. And please know that it is an answered prayer. It is an answered prayer. Now, you may not remember praying or asking for a change in circumstances, but anytime we experience a state of suffering, whether we're aware of it or not, we are also simultaneously putting out a beacon to the universe that we want something different. Although when you want something, you are also telling the universe that you don't have, right? But there's something inside that is like, this is harsh. I would love to have something better. And that is just, you know, it's out there. So here is, and when that gets strong enough, basically, that, that desire to have a change in circumstances, when it gets strong enough, um, it happens, right? It happens. So that's what we see going on there. Boom. Yeah, karmic clearing. Now, while I show that to you, I feel like they're having me show that to you so and block this air area here this energy here for some reason so you're going to thank you you're going to be being you're going to be being uh distracted in the month of january is what i'm getting so if you find yourself revisiting with people rekindling uh clearing past debts sewing up old energies all that stuff please know that you just have to do it but part of it is a yes thank you they're saying it's a lesson but part of it is also a distraction because what's brewing in the background that I had to hide from you for a quick second is something wonderful. Trust in the plan. Notice how it's almost like take this, take, oh my God, they're so good. You guys, these, listen, listen. My team of spirit, they are such great storytellers and narrative tellers. Look at this. I'm like, I'm watching the story too, guys. Um, trust in the plan. Look at what's happening here at the mirroring. We've got this major being there. We've got this gold source there. And we've got this uh, watery presence at the bottom, this liquid like presence. But presence. But look at this. You're clearing some stuff once you clear out that karma, that situation, it's like, ah, everything can flow. Look at that. So, you know, if, you lo if you're losing any bit of heart during the month of uh, January, please don't, because this is looking like a process. Wait, I couldn't even, I was going to run my hands to say process, but the energy is, is like, it's so solid right here over this dark night of the soul and all of this energetic exchange it's like it's like a dome i can't even <laughs> move it maybe i move it around i don't know as how are you guys doing with your clairvoyance as i'm saying that because remember they don't mince words as i'm saying that maybe one of the activations i'll do it for the month of uh january is to and, and dear guys please remind me because you guys know you know um will be to help you calibrate your clairs, your clairvoyance, your clairaudience, your clairsentience, your clairgustience, I think it's called. That's your tasting one. I know I missed one. Claircognizance, right? Did I get that? Anyway, all the clairs. Um, that's always really fun. But the reason why I was just triggered to ask you that, I think it's partly why uh, they were showing me the solid energy that's here. And I want to ask, are you picking up on this solid energy in any way? Do you feel it? Do you sense it? Do you see it? Do you hear it? Do you, right? So if you can't, that's totally okay. There are many reasons why people um, 
are not able to pick up on the same on energy in the same way or as strongly as other people do and it could be something as simple as a deep-seated fear maybe you don't want to see certain things maybe you don't want to hear certain things maybe you don't want to taste and smell and feel and right there are many reasons or sometimes it's just not your time yet but I do feel that I had to say that and I'm starting to feel that for some of you looks like we're getting a new batch initiations I'm feeling it in my hands some of you watching and you'll know maybe not yet but some of you do know you're going to be coming into initiation with um, uh, your healing chakras right so I feel that you're going to be getting ready to do some stuff now I'm it should be here but I'm feeling it here right now which is showing me that uh, some of you whoever you are there's there are some amongst you who are a little apprehensive about stepping into this gift okay so spirit is saying you're going to be given a piece of gold they're showing gold being placed in your hand to um, get you in so this could be talking about uh paying you first <laughs> i love that they're so funny it's like we'll wet your whistle listen we got money to, money to spend because they understand money M my own natural energy yield is an acronym uh, m-o-n-e-y is an acronym that i've heard uh for this and i love it right they they don't think anything about money it's chump change it's just energy so if they if you need to see how this is going to pay off for you first listen they're like let me write the check and so it is but i do feel that some of you're going to be coming into your healing um, uh, energy so initiation time now let's step over here just kidding I'll be right back let me just go get some tissues you know it's not a J production unless I get up for one second <laughs> oh my gosh I'm back <laughs> No one cares. Oh, you guys. Mean. <laughs> Everybody cares. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Let's <laughs> let's um have a this is what I was actually moving this for. <laughs> Let me have a sip. Mm -mm. And forgive me if I'm shouting. Um, okay, we'll take that. I'm actually not using my um headphones to with the mic so i want to make sure that i'm speaking up uh, loud enough and we'll see how it goes thank you spirit yeah love it feeling some march energies coming in somebody's brother is going to come to call someone's brother is coming to um yes there's going to be reconciliation amen i love it destiny destiny I love that card too. Okay. Destiny. Now, interesting. I do see some galactic energies here. Not too much though. We're not going to talk too much about that, they said. But I do see some galactic energies. Some of you very, not many of you. I'm, I'm getting a small handful of you will be starting to work with galactic beings. You will be initiated into that. Um... You will have a, a foray, they're saying, into that. But I'm very, very silent about it, okay? The reason why uh, they're saying it that way, I'm very silent about it, is because uh, we need to take these initiations seriously. Just because, oh my God, I'm Pleiadian, I'm Arcturian, I'm, you know, Lyran, I'm all this, and Vagan, and, and uh, you know, it's like, it, it's you can talk about those things, you can... But the real deal, if it's the real deal, you know who you are. You know what that feels like to have that initiation. And as, as I'm saying that, I'm totally feeling somebody getting angry at hearing that. Because the, the, the throat chakra is... Ugh. So I'm, I want to let that energy out. The, okay, that's why. Because they're saying... Got it. They're, they're giving a little bit of a reprimand to somebody. That's why. Sorry, love you guys. I gotta laugh. Like, I'm the don't, don't kill the messenger. They're giving a reprimand to somebody here. Somebody talking too much, okay? It's not me, because I'm, I'm literally here to talk, but, um, but somebody is talking too much about their initiation. I want you to know that if you... If that is you, Spirit is saying, mind yourself, because you may not actually have been initiated or... 
you may not be at the level of initiation that you think you are. So this is one of those moments, they're showing me this card, where you are being asked to oops, be silent about it. Now they're showing me this card here as to represent the beings that are, you know, that may have wanted to work with you because look at how he's looking away and he and you are trying to toot this horn towards him basically and it's not reaching him because they're saying there's a certain level of merit and here we have the scales right underneath. There's a certain level of merit that needs to go along with when you do these kinds of energies and they're showing this in the reverse. So somebody here has not received, I'm saying, yeah, somebody here has not received the initiation. Now they're showing me the card. Okay, so maybe, um, you may, I wonder if you will end up connecting with me. <laughs> Maybe they'll give you the initiation through me. God bless, God bless. Um, if that's you, you will know. Don't, you know, don't force these things, right? But Spirit is saying, uh, mind yourself, okay? Because when we do work with these beings, it's not like they're like, we don't want to work with you. No, what it is, is that there's certain, there's a certain level of, um, oh God, I, want, I keep saying merit, ethics, merit. Um, for example, it, if you are being asked to work, uh, in a financial position and they see that you are a thief, why would they, like, they would need to see that you are able to keep your hands to yourself first and that you understand on a, on a very, um, uh, energetic and very humble level and heart level that, when you take from other people, you are only taking from yourself, number one, but also you're hurting other people, right? And if you don't, if you haven't learned that spiritual lesson, then of course they're not gonna want to, to uh, I just heard the word serve you. They're not gonna want to serve you. But I was gonna say, they're not gonna want to entrust you with, you know, being around people's money, long story short. So please know that when we work, and that's why they showed this with the galactic energies, because it's not for everybody, it's for some, but remember that you have to have certain level of, levels of initiation, and, it, and the initiations come when you have uh, shown yourself to be, and I hate to drop the W, worthy of it, okay, at that moment, okay, I do feel that we're talking about some Lyran ener energies or Lyran ancestry that's going on, now Spirit is saying, that, Spirit is saying that whoever that's for, and you know who it's, it, it is, because I'm seeing that here in this card, plus I'm feeling it, you see the energies are reaching, you see how it's like, whoosh, right, um, Spirit is saying that uh, it's not too late to work with them, right? But you're going to have to get rid of that defensiveness. You saw that energy of defensiveness that like came at me when I was giving the message in the throat chakra. That stuff they're saying there, that stuff has got to go <laughs> right away. All right. So um, if, the, if you think that's you, God bless, you can reach out to me. Um, but anyway, um, your guides will be in contact with you. But also, uh, Spirit is, is uh, saying that that message about the defensiveness and the needing to uh, talk less about what's going on and all of that, that's not for everybody. But there is a certain group of you who will be coming into galactic, initiate, galactic level initiation, whatever you want to say it. Um, but there's someone amongst you or or maybe very few or they're just opening it up to everyone as a learning lesson as well to, who needs to humble yourself when you're working with these energies, okay? Thank you, Spirit. Um, wow, guys, we are kicking off in the month of January, huh? So um, hold on, that card fell. God bless. Yes, yeah, it's kind of initiations time. Fun. Yeah. All right. They they were just like when you're ready, okay? Yeah. We 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 hear you. We hear you. Did you guys hear? They said when you're ready, we will work with you, okay? Boom, there it is. Certainty. Look at this guy and this this being behind whispering, "When you're ready." And not a minute before. <laughs> All right? So please um if you are interested in connecting with these galactic level guides, um Please make sure that you, uh, you know, do your due diligence. Great. They're saying also this is part of the light that is coming in because remember the light is energy, 
and it refers to um, when we're talking about energies coming in of course we get doused with energies all the time but a lot of times these energies uh, also carry genetic uh, energetic coatings that are specifically designed for you individually of course we have a collective codes as well that come in but um, when you are ready you receive uh, certain energetic um, upgrades and and they they can help you uh, help you with your ascension one sec guys okay let's move on um thank you uh let me just decode this right here for a second guys like this card makes me want to go <laughs> Something about some type of passcode or something. Do you see that? I love that card. Lovely. But let me... Look at that. Thank you. Yeah, this is about... Because the minute I, I did that, like I wanted to do, like I felt like I wanted to, look what was underneath. Authenticity. It's like being granted access to something higher. This is about... They're giving me this energy like let's imagine that you have been granted access to the akashic records and now that you're in there you are have been given the privilege of uh not being a scribe but being able to uh write some things down to add some things in a certain way now there's a reason why they are using this uh this story guys um you know, spirit doesn't mince words. It's supposed to trigger you in some way it, with the messages. Now, right under there, once you uh, get, you gain access and you head in, you will have access to the guidance that you need, right? But spirit is saying, it, yes, right. Spirit is saying just as, yes, yes, just as with Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade, remember when he had to... Um, when Indiana Jones had to select under duress the correct um, grail that Jesus was said to have made and, and drunk drank from, to have drunk from, to have made and drunk from, in order to you know save his father's life, Sean Connery. Here you go, go watch the movie if you don't know the scene. Uh, he was up there with two other people, and another person in there had to choose as well and he chose poorly <laughs> as they say in the movie and it killed him because the idea was if you drink from the wrong cup you die but if you drink from the correct cup that Jesus himself crafted the holy grail and according to the movie then you will be granted life or what was it Morta immortality or I don't remember but it was going to be used to help his father who was suffering from a fate uh, fatal gunshot wound or would be fatal gunshot wound um the whole point of that part that spirit is bringing up is listen you could have a whole array of cups or grails or or things at your disposal but if you lack the perception then what are we doing where are we at right and that's why inner work is so very important you must do your inner work you must hone yourself you must look at your shadows you must do all of these things why because every time that you clear up these karmic things these uh, all of this unclear thinking what you're actually doing is you are creating a clearer lens through which you can see the world and that makes all the difference because imagine they could they can grant you access to the kashic records but if you don't have here we go back to the merit if you don't have the merit aka if you don't have the mindset if you don't have the um count uh, the the is the word what's the word not countenance is it no in the temperament if you don't have the temperament if you don't have the perception if you don't have that honed 
then of course you're going to misperceive what it is that you're seeing and you're going to move forward with that. I'm getting that somebody here has been blocked, God bless you, from do, uh, practicing spiritual work on a professional level. And this has to and the answer and the reason why. And, and like maybe you try to do some spiritual work and you felt like maybe to get make money from it, you know, a business or and as an intuitive this is what I'm seeing and maybe you you were blocked in some way like things kept going wrong or more like the clients weren't coming or just whatever it is i see that for you god bless it's because spirit wants you to work on your lens there's a childhood issue that you are going to need to work through that will help once you clear that it will help you to see the world in a more um, neutral and collective way so that you can be of service now this is not this does not mean that spirit doesn't use us as we are because spirit always uses us as we are you know we are we are the tools the vessels through which uh, help is given unto each other but sometimes we need to write certain things within our mentality and our perception so that we can be of better use much as you I, I know it sounds really contradictory and maybe even a little counterintuitive but for you in particular and you may know who you are okay if you're like is that me it's not you um, if, if it is you and you know it then then it it's you it's applying to you this message is applying to you okay it just you know they're, a good analogy they're giving is that Yes, let's say you suffered from addictions for a, a, a long time and, and God bless you were able to really transcend that space and get to um, a healthy place of being. And of course, spirit is going to use you to reach out to others and to help. But not everybody who reaches that place is, is ready to be now a life coach. Do you know what I mean? They, there's still some... like. Like, I wouldn't even say I'm a life coach. And I, you know, like, and just, despite what I, I do, I, I mean, there's a certain level of, of, I, I don't know. Um, you gotta, let's, let's drop the I word, initiation. There's a certain level of things, that, boxes that you're going to have to check according to spirit to do certain things. And so for you, whoever you are, it's it's not that, and here's the precise card, the precision, right? So they're saying that message, yes, it's for you. So Spirit is saying you're going to have to get a little bit more heart-centered is, is what I'm getting. And there is something that's coming up from your past that you're going to have to look at, okay? God bless you, all right. Anyway, uh, December, I mean, why do I, Guys, why? December, I'm, we're in January, but, but I mean, December just was, so we're still in these energies, right? But uh, the minute I touched that, December, hmm. I do see that somebody here has gotten, has received an answered prayer for a separation. Now, a lot of times, um, people who watch videos are, are you, on YouTube are often hoping their wishes to get back into union but somebody here spirit is saying that for some of you if you found that you've been separated for some but from someone uh you'll know if this is you because you're going to be like thank god there's a thank god kind of energy coming in and they do want to acknowledge somebody's aunt is coming through and they're like yep I, I'm not going to put my face on camera by, for right now, but you know, if that's my head, you know, and they do, yep, that's us, like right there at the eyebrow level. And so we were helping you. Now, notice how, as I'm saying that, I'm like clearing everything up, just like they said, karmic clearing. As you clear your karmic stuff, as you work through your pain and all of that, you become more illuminated. In the month of January right and of course December we were going through some things in the month of January we are all in transformation mode but you will be able whoopsies to come through it now they're they're asking me to talk to some of you guys now about um your lack of about no not your lack of no about a lack of faith that you may be carrying now they had me fix that that um the language there 
because they're talking to some readers okay now a lot of I, to be honest the people who come to my videos are attracted to my videos are light workers or people who are you know they carry uh, mission work of some sort so they no wonder they're doing this for some readers here but they're asking for some of you to uh, soften your approach we're looking at bedside manner now um, so there is something to be said, they're saying, in the way you deliver messages. So some of you, they're saying, have been experiencing a lot of up and down or in and out or, or just not being able to hold on to clients or just whatever this is. They're saying that it's time to switch it up. And the way they, they, they said, I swear, I'm totally channeling. They're like, switch it up, <laughs> switch it up. It's like you you think that you have to do it one way but no notice how it sounds the same switch it up but then I did this switch it up it's like you're like this and then you're like this it doesn't matter right you but it matters you can deliver the same message but do it in a way that fits your audience that that is softer that is more gentle um, and they're saying even if you have to ride the waves of the cosmology if you know that it's a tough time right now soften your approach right if you and, and and I know sometimes we as readers and as healers and as people working with even even students you know in, in school <laughs> We think we got to like hammer things home and we need to see the outcome. We need to see the retention. We need to see, we don't need to see all that. Spirit is saying your job is to deliver. That's it. That's it. It's like, you know, UPS, you know, like that, that's you. <laughs> UPS. Um, you're here to deliver. You're not here as the UPS person to deliver, get them to sign, come in for the coffee, hammer it down, give me the scissors, open the box. I want to see you open that box. I want to see you read the read the note. What's on the invoice? And they're like, uh, uh, I right. It's so and the interesting. They picked up this card because look what happens when you come that strong. You're just gonna get the X. They're going to push you out. And now, how they push you out, it, they may not do that in the physical, like, I get out. No, uh, fate. Here, look, here's, look. <laughs> why, why are we even trying to shuffle anymore? <laughs> Thank you, spirit. <laughs> right? Yeah, look at that. The Wheel of Fortune does it for them. 41 minutes, 41 seconds, okay? They're saying this is a new beginning for all of us. God bless. Yeah. Look at that. Ace of Wands. Oh my gosh, right underneath, Eight of Pentacles, the work card. This is a new beginning with work. It's beautiful. Now, let's talk a little bit technical. We're going to move, technically, we're going to move up uh, a little bit in energy. The guides are going to be, now we have the Three of Wands, which is coming in with a waiting energy. The guides are going to be delivering packages now. Now, when they say packages, we're talking specifically to those of, uh, you who are in the light working community and I just say light working as a catch-all phrase but anybody who's under spiritual contract to do divine service um, doesn't have to be of an intuitive nature it could be civil service it could be whatever but if you're watching this video it's all connected right um, look at the six of Pentacles showing the contract you will be receiving new orders is what they're saying oh how cute look at the hierophant giving the uh, orders <laughs> to them so cute um so this means you're going to be getting clients sent to you they're going uh, the guides are going to be watching you okay me not shaking in my boots um they're going to be watching you temperament they're saying oh shoot okay shoot okay see they'll never get me on temperament but they will get me on <laughs> consistency I'm trying <laughs> no they're like we've got you I'm like oh, okay <laughs> but temperament they're gonna be watching you on temperament okay watch yourselves is what they're saying invoicing some of you are doing too much with that invoicing all right I don't know I'm not like I'm not up in your coffers I'm not looking in your bank account so I don't know who you are but Watch your invoicing for whatever reason. It could be because you're, you're, yeah, for some of you spending too much. Okay, maybe, maybe. For some of you, you're charging too much. For some of you, you're, you're late too much. For some of you, you're, um, what is the, the word, uh, 
your business practices, the way you handle money and your clients. Remember, this is about 44 minutes as I said that. This is about healing. This is about helping. This isn't about bleeding people of their money. Like, <laughs> right? So spirit is going to be pushing certain contracts onto us. Uh, in other words, they're going to be directing certain people to teach lessons to you. So for example, if you get that one client that is just like, ugh, mean and just whatever or they're pushy or they or whatever or they're just not in alignment with you and how you usually do things this is um it's been put forward in a way so that you can kind of observe something right so we always want to look at how we're treating each other 44 minutes 44 seconds god bless so now maybe some of us are like well why are you picking on me god well the guides are <laughs> sorry the guides are not picking on anybody. <laughs> That's so funny. They're not picking on anybody. They're cleaning up the practice is what they're saying. And I love that. You know, you know, we, we don't, nobody likes a shakedown, but it's not a shakedown if you're doing your job. They're so funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. That's so funny. Okay. They're like, it's not a shakedown if you're doing your job. Um, now, for some of you, for those of you who are considering getting into spiritual practice or into doing something in this realm of whatever. It could be opening a donut shop, it could be whatever. But again, if you're watching my videos, then you have some type of, uh, um, what's the word I, I like to say? Um, spiritual, serve. oh gosh, why am I even, why am I even thinking too much? You have some type of spiritual service right underneath the card. You have a soul contract for spiritual service, even if you haven't started it yet or just whatever. Um, it's okay. You'll start when you're ready. But these are some principles that you want to keep in mind, Spirit is saying. Let's go ahead and grab these cards because they know I wanted to use these cards. Yeah? Cool. Thank you, Spirit. They're so good. Let me just... Um, oopsies. Also, um, speaking of, I do offer um, a reading called Stepping Into Mastery. So for those of you who would like to talk more about your uh, spiritual service or you're wondering about it, um, that's an option for you, okay? If you'd like my help. But remember, guys, we all could sit and be silent and connect with spirit and all of that good stuff. But I'm always here to yeah help as well <laughs> they're so good they're like spiritual counselor yes yes that's intuitive counseling spiritual counseling that's what i try to do but god bless bottom of the deck knight of swords okay so we're just gonna rest this energy here it's very heavy i'm feeling it oh what's this queen of coins interesting because i showed you the first card before i um got started it was the king of coins if you noted that anybody i would i'd be like pause rewind <laughs> that's just how i flow all right oh that's there we go i get it i get it now i see what's happening um look at this five of cups grief card nine of coins independence some of you are are feeling very very much in a low um place you 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 have a lot of grief that you're carrying around that you're handling but what i'm a little bit uh taken by is that you're you're kind of putting it behind you you're you're hiding it and you're portraying a certain image to the world that oh everything's good everything's fine what ifs i'm doing okay but what I'm really feeling is this sense of isolation. So my question, oh, see, my question I was going to say is how can we get you from here to the queen of coins? Male, female, gender, non-conforming, it doesn't matter. Many people will consider the queen of coins as that elevated place of the nine of coins. But look at right under here. You see, it's still mirroring where we have the three of swords, heartbreak, and the five of cups, grief, behind both of these ladies. They're saying that, you know, yeah, you, 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 regardless of what's happening, regardless of how you see yourself, regardless of where you want to project yourself and whatnot, they're saying you cannot escape the feelings that are being 
hidden within. You can't escape it. You have to work on it. Speaking of working on it, they have the three of coins, which is a work but more of a collaboration energy. Spirit is saying, let us help you. Let us help you to transform these energies on the inside. I do feel that, that they're bringing this message up for you guys because um, it's time. You could, Like we were saying earlier on, it's time to clear these karmas, karmas with the karma within. It's time to look at the shadows. It's time to process the pain. You've got to go through that process. They're here to help you, but you have to do that. And I do feel, mark my words, well, not really my words, but mark my words, I do feel that this change will lead to more money, okay? The, the healing this, and it makes sense because when we clear these energies, we actually give way to abundance because these are things that are blocking our ability to be abundant. Speaking of abundance, we have the Empress followed by the Seven of Coins. Look at the Seven of Coins, which is all about, it could be about planting seeds, it could be about harvest time, it could be, you know, quite a few things. But we're talking about abundance, but you will be able to hold more of your abundance, to access more of your abundance, if you step into this Empress mode. The Empress does not have the sadness behind her. She has the open basket. And so regardless of how you see yourself, whether you see yourself as a queen or this independent person or just whatever, you have to move this energy, okay? So January might kick off with quite a bit of steam is what they're saying for a lot of you. They're saying give this up to spirit so that they could evaporate all of this sadness. Love how they're saying that. And then that'll put you into this place. Because if, listen, if anybody, if anyone was given a choice, would you like to be the Nine of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles, or the Empress? Of course you're going to go with the Empress. The Empress is the embodiment of all four queens. And the Nine of, Pe of Pentacles, as, as lovely and independent as she is, she's still in the Minor Arcana. She's not even at the, I mean, well, so is the Queen, but she's not even at that level, right? Although she's pretty awesome. Now, speaking of cups, <laughs> who this? The king of cups. Remember, male, female, gender non-conforming. It doesn't matter. It could even be referring to a non-person, right? In my reading. But look at this seven of cups. Spirit is reminding us when we're looking for a spiritual partner. Notice they said spiritual partner. Whoa, I just pulled this love card. Whoa, look at the card right underneath. Here is the masculine. Spirit is not coming to play today. <laughs> right? They're saying, remember, when you are looking for a spiritual partner, you have to have your cups filled. You have to choose wisely. Because guess what? You are attracting you <laughs> pretty much if you are um into victim consciousness guess who you go you're going to attract somebody who is either a victim or is a victimizer or both if you are into feeling abandoned guess who you're going to attract somebody who abandons or somebody who um wants to be abandoned by you like it's it's just you know so this is kind of what spirit is reminding you. Now, notice that they said spiritual partner because that's where we need to start off. We're not just looking for a cuddle buddy, right? We're not just looking for a man or a chick, you know, whatever. I don't know what guys say these days. Um, <laughs> we're looking for somebody who can hold us in our light. If you're in your light, if this person can't stand next to you in your light, what are we doing? What are we doing? If they can't stand next to you in your light, but they're still standing next to you, then maybe you're not in your light right now. <laughs> and you'll know that if you're sitting there waiting for this person to text you back or notice you or, or you know, all sorts of stuff that is just like, what are we doing? All these amount to, what are we doing? And I'm starting to really question, what, what are we doing? You know, and Spirit is doing it like this because you need to get up there and be like, dear so-and-so, what are we doing? I'm starting to question that myself and it's starting to make no sense and I really, under I, I really don't understand what's happening, right? So this is what they're saying. You have to start creating those 
boundaries but start becoming aware that you you something is happening you're you're you are with somebody that is not honoring you but you're still with them so that means that you're not honoring you and something's got to change um yeah, so this started off as a, well, it's just whatever they want to talk about for December. <laughs> and apparently, uh, it, oh my God, is it December again? Oh my God. I was going to say, it's something they want to talk about for January and apparently December too, but whatever, right? <laughs> They've been doing some two-monthers um, quite a bit. I believe in it might have been the reading that I just did for the first week of January or maybe the last moon reading I, I put out but I kept trying to say January I think it was the last moon reading and they were like bringing in February February as well makes sense because these energies are already in the air okay so um long story short god bless you guys um I think there has to be something for everybody who tuned in and I really just hope uh you can yeah, stand your ground, stay stay in your lane. Make sure you take some time to be with yourself and to monitor the energies that are coming in and that you're putting out, right? Remember, this is, I wanna say it's a process, but right now, part of the process is that you are being asked to receive the light, get clear, meaning karmically clear, allow for the inner work to occur, and that will clear your lens as well. A lot of you will be coming into initiations. Um, if you're in the spiritual profession and you're doing, um, or if you have some type of spiritual service and and you are doing it professionally, spirit is sending you a new, sending you not at the three D, but your higher self, your a part of you, your spirit is receiving the energies for your clients. They're coming in, and of course they will start to trickle in in their correct timing, as appropriate as needed, uh, throughout this year, um, and of course throughout this month. So yeah, just uh, do your best to work on your bedside manner. Remember that we are working with people we're dealing with people um and that carries uh some fun and some not so fun things remember even our clients are teaching us things about ourselves and we are teaching them as well no one is ever completely in the teaching capacity for their whole life we're always <laughs> learning and we're always uh teaching others as well okay Okay, if you'd like to have a personal reading with me, feel free to check my Etsy link below. I do offer quite a few services, but also if you'd like to have a live energy healing session or energy shift, please do feel free to also check my Etsy link. All of that information is there. Uh, stay tuned for the moon readings that are coming out and uh, any energy activations. And I will be putting out the masculine and feminine for the month of, you know, energies for the month of January. And uh, stay tuned for more um energy free energy healing videos okay i've got quite a few that will be coming out and if there are certain things parts of the body or the psyche or just whatever that you would like me to focus on um in particular like for example can you do the thyroid can you do um the vagus nerve whatever it is that you like and you feel the need to kind of ask for it please go ahead and leave it in the comments or you can email me all of my information is in the box wherever whatever platform you're looking on okay until then mwah, happy new year and uh hang in there let's 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 get it started all right bye